Which series makes the more money? Top five anglers, Major League Fishing, Bassmaster Elites. That's what we're going to talk about right now. I feel like I'm just repeating the same thing. Thank you for all the new subscribers, all the comments, all the views, everything. After that one, there's one video that things just completely changed. So have I, amazingly. But if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and become part of the team and family. And let me just say thank you to everyone. I really do appreciate it. It's humbling, so thank you. If we take the top five anglers off Bass Fan rankings and we go Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour versus Bass Master Elites, top five anglers that have competed in the last three years. We need three years of to get a good sample size of what they're doing. But if we take those top five anglers, put them against each other, which top five are making the most money off that series? Now we have to have some ground rules right off the bat. First, you have to have three years of, of tournaments for that specific organization. Second, while I know Bass Fan isn't really the best way to do it, but I did it by the top five anglers that way. And I should admit, I think Bass Fan is under the umbrella of Major League Fishing, but I still try to take the top five anglers from the Elites and the BPT and then get their results. This has nothing to do with sponsorship money. This is only tournaments. And what I tried to do was I tried to eliminate bonuses from Angler of the Year to the Classic Championship to the Red Crest. Tournaments that not everyone makes. So again, I removed the championships from their tournament winnings. And I didn't use any other organizations, though I will give you one person who I just completely think is doing the right thing. But this is all about Major League Fishing and the Bassmaster. And of course, if you're winning, you're obviously going to be in this. If you're winning the tournament, those or you're very consistent, your numbers and your average and your total winnings over that three years is going to be a lot higher. Again, I tried to keep it as the top tier. Only BPT, only the elites. I didn't try to go for invitationals. I didn't try to go for opens. I tried to eliminate the things that, you know, not everybody, not all these anglers are going to go fish. So who are the anglers I took a three-year total winnings from? We had Patrick Walters, of course. Jay Shakurat, you have to put him in there. Corey and Chris Johnston, it only makes sense. And then Taku Ito. For the Bass Pro Tour, we took Jacob Wheeler, Dustin Connell, Alton Jones Jr., Michael Neal, and Zach Burge. We're going to do the Bass Pro Tour anglers first. So the top winner, of course, is Jacob Wheeler. Jacob Wheeler's won over $727,000 over the last three years. Alton Jones Jr. has won over $383,000. Dustin Connell has won $582,223. Michael Neal has won $344,964. And Zach Burge has won $317,705. For a grand total of those top five anglers of $2,356,633, which is Amazing. For the elite anglers, they're not that far behind. For Patrick Walters, he's made $498,500. For Jay Shakurat, he's made $483,962. Corey Johnson's made $368,500. Chris Johnson's made $376,500. And Taco Ito's made $342,000. $306 for a grand total of $2,069,498. So what's the difference between the Major League Fishing BPT and the Elites? $287,000, $135,000 more than the lead anglers, which is a lot of money. But when you have anglers like Jacob Wheeler and Dustin Connell who are winning on a consistent basis, that really helps boost that total or that number up. However, if you take Patrick Walters fishing the NPFL for three years, he has made an additional $444,000, making him almost a million bucks in the last three years. Really, his total is $942,500. And while that puts a strain on Patrick because he has to go from place to place and tournaments and, and being away from his family, joining the NPFL was the smartest decision Patrick has ever made. He's made almost the same amount of money in less tournaments on the NPFL as he's made on the Bass Elites. And I don't think I would have ever thought or said this a couple years ago, but we're not giving enough credit to the NPFL. 
And while I know there's a lot of them that don't like that I call them patch pirates, and I apologize for that, but the MPFL is offering anglers, especially at the caliber that Patrick Walter is, another option at making a lot of money. And I just said it, it was a brilliant idea to go fish NPFL. And he doesn't even fish the whole series because there are a lot of times when the Bass Elites are happening at the same time as the NPFL. And obviously the Elite Tournament will supersede the NPFL. But I would be really hard to make sure I didn't miss any NPFL events if I were Patrick Walters because it is fantastic for him. And for a lot of anglers, Zach Burgeon has made an extra $18,000 this year on NPFL. John Cox is probably making thirty dollars or $40,000 more this year because of MPFL, even though John isn't on this list. The anglers that are fishing both organizations or both tournament series are the ones that are really doing exceptional. And while there's a lot of anglers on the MPFL that really want to move up to that next thing, the MPFL is probably not getting enough credit that it deserves, which is the next video I do. So are these numbers surprising to you? Did you think it'd be more even if you take away the MPFL from Patrick Walters? Walters, I mean, it's still almost $300,000 more that they've made on the Major League Fishing than the elites, which is kind of surprising to me. But the elites have a bigger platform and they get the fans and they have the fan support and they have the loyalty. So there's something to be said about that. They also have the Classic. And the Classic is the biggest fishing tournament there is. It's stupid. If you've never been to a Classic, I suggest you go to one. Especially if you're a super fan. Because the Classic is exceptional at all levels. From the media event, to the fan experience, to the expo, to everything. Where I don't think the Red Crest is at that level yet. But we don't know. So what did you think? Comment below and tell me what you think. Were you surprised? Were you not surprised? I really appreciate all of you. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you very, very soon because I'm going to record another video right now. Cheers.